Howdy folks, TJ here. I've got a dumb diddly doodly de bops for you today. This one excites me to no avail because to date, I've been only able to use my Sam Coupe with very limited screen resolution in terms of pleasing my eyes. I've been using, and I'm not going to complain too much because it was relatively cheap. Uh, uh, the cable's a little, you can copy see it from here. One of those HD video SCART to HDMI adapters. And it does okay. I, I was using those on my Sinclair as well before I even purchased a SAM. And it does the job, but there's always better. Obviously on the Sinclair, I use the cool ZXHD from Byte Delight. That sure makes video look perfectly pleasant on an HDMI display. But on the Sam, I kind of had these squiggly lines and, and stuff going on, and it wasn't wonderful. So I was going to purchase and invest in one of those better SCART to HDMI adapters that had less lag, and they supposedly made things look a little better. But Matthew Beeman, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, in the Sam Facebook group, created a cool little diddy box. <laughs> And it is called the, it's not called the Diddly Bops, the Doodly Bops. It's called a Sam HDMI. I'll hold it at a couple of different angles. You'll see my hand, so it's relatively small. This is a device, much like the ZXHD for my Sinclair, that will plug into the expansion bus in the back and give it wildly cool, awesome video. So... And I can hear planes flying above. So I live up in the foothills of California. Lots of fire dangers here. There's a fire not too far from here. As the crow flies, I'm going to guess a mile or two. I can hear the planes. I just checked our local UbaNet website, and it says over at a campground over in Colfax, a fire started. It's at five acres right now. Hopefully they put it out soon because that little five-acre fire can become thousands and thousands. So... Hopefully they get that put out soon, but I could hear the plane, so I've got a little worry going on in my head behind me right now. But I wanted to do this hot off the press. This just arrived. Now the phone's ringing. Let me see who's calling. Uh, hold on. There's a call coming in. Hello? Yes, this is, this is he. How can I help? See, I even do live phone calls on my Interwebs YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I figured I'd better get it, and I, it was something important, so that's cool. So back to Sam HDMI. So this is a fun little adapter. It's everything. It's the board. It's the case. It's all prettified with the word Sam on there. And it's going to connect to my expansion port in the back and give me great video, I believe. So let's show you... On the top, you'll see there's some buttons up here. There is a piece of paper that came with it, which we'll show here in a second. But there's buttons that do stuff. Then on the side, there is a port for speakers, powered speakers. So there's no sound that comes out of the HDMI on this. That's the way it's designed. So you need to pipe speaker here. So I've got a powered Bose speaker system, which I'll connect to that. The other side has a USB connector. No idea what that's for, but it's there. So USB, the older type. And then expansion port on the back, or is it the front? <laughs> One of the sides that will plug into my Sam Coupe. And then on this side, it's got the micro or mini. I don't know if they could call it micro HDMI, which is right here. So it's not a full HDMI cable. Luckily, I had the right adapter because... The ZXHD from Byte Delight uses the same one, so I happen to have the right cable. Got plenty of regular HDMI cables, but not tons with the smaller port. And then a couple of uh, small uh, ports here, which are USB type ports that lots of devices like phones and such and keyboards and things that you can charge up get power from here because I'm going to be running... This gets power. It can from the SAM if you toggle a little switch in here to do it. But since the SAM may be underpowered with some of the old original power unit, he recommends using a external USB source. So he says use the farthest away port to give it power. And fortunately I have a USB hub up on this table because that behind me is a monitor, uh, not a TV. And I 
needle USB ports in the back there. So anyway, so yeah, it's a nifty looking little fun device. So let's look at the instructions. And also cool is he sent me a little assortment. You're not going to be able to see it, but of Sam little logos and such. I happen to own a Trinity board. And uh, so he sent me one that says Trinity on there someplace, I think. Yeah, the word Trinity, you probably won't see it. But anyway, little Sam logos and stuff that I can stick on things as I grow more fond of the Sam Coupe. So let's put that there. So this came well packaged from overseas. Got here relatively quick. I think maybe a week and a half, something like that. And with it, I received a one-page instruction double-sided so it's got info on both sides and there is the cute little robot guy down there Sam yeah so let's read it a little bit it says firstly thank you for purchasing the Sam Coupe HDMI interface please read the instructions carefully and it goes through all and I'm not going to list them all but it tells you how to properly connect it up because you don't want to be a dummy and have this powered up and start slapping stuff on there because you're going to blow something up he also talks about there's a internal jumper if you want the Sam to power this you need to go inside there and make a little adjustment. I'm going to power it with USB, so I'm leaving it as is. Talks about uh, the limitation of the RGB to HDMI board that he has, that it does not transmit HDMI sound. So I'm using an external sound method. Then on the back, it talks about the buttons. So let's talk about the buttons. On the front of the interface, there are three buttons, which you can use to navigate the menu system of the RGB to HDMI board. So he, there's a right button, middle button, and left button just in a quick. One button does call up a menu. One toggles scan lines if available on and off. Middle button does a file screen capture to an SD card. That's interesting. Toggle NTSC artifact colors on and off. I don't understand that yet, but okay. And then left button has an enable or disable refresh gen lock or calibrate sampling position. This is all on-screen information that if you need to harness it, is there. I am just gonna use this generically for now to connect up my SAM and get, hopefully, better video. So why don't we plug everything in? So let me get it connected. Then I'll take the camera off the tripod, show you my connection. Then we'll try booting it. I've got, I haven't opened this one yet. SAM Revival, older issue 22. It's got a floppy in here, yep. So I'm going to try to boot up from the floppy and wing it and see if I can get video and see if I can do something. And uh, yeah, let's get the ball rolling and get this connected up. Very exciting. Okay, I've got things connected up. And look, I do have some type of video going on right now. Oh, that went away quick. So I guess I won't show that. But down here is the setup. I've got it connected to my Sam Coupe. I've got a blinking light on in the upper right, blinking green. I've got speaker here, uh, power here, going over to a little USB hubby dubby, and HDMI out to the screen, which I already had something pop up and I didn't read it quick enough. So that is the connection. We've got my Sam here, so let's connect this back up to the tripod. And so, excuse the craziness of the video right now, but we are going to try to boot up. So, uh, I've got my trusty 110 to 220 volt up converter. Do I have this turned on? Yes. Let's go ahead and open up. I'm a little scared. I haven't opened up this magazine yet. So no idea if the floppy works. It should. It's new. Uh, and no idea what's on it. Ooh, yeah, Revival. Uh, let's stick this here. So Sam Revival issue 22, Burglar Bob. Let's go ahead and stick this in. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm going to power it on. Hope for the best. Do I have sound on? Sound on. I think I've got connected to the right speaker stuff, so let's see. And I don't know if sound would come out anyway, as of yet. Cursor! Cursor! That's the cursor! <laughs> uh, TJ! Oh, that's so pretty! There's no funky black lines on here like my HDMI SCART adapter. The letter TJ looks mighty beautiful right now. Wow, I'm just seeing dead black 
no lines, letters. Uh, le let's do a quick program. 10, uh, print. Uh, oh, God, where's the quotes? Oh, geez, where's the quotes? Uh, quote. There it is. Quote. Hello. End quote. Okay, uh, 5, 4, X equal 1, 2, 10. Okay, and then 20. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. Next. Next. Uh, X. Is that a complete program? Run. Hey! It looks good. It's clear. As clear as my blind eyes can see. Okay. So now I gotta remember, is it F9 key to start this floppy? I hear speaker sound, floppy. Oh, that's them. Burglar Bob, Sam Revival. Everything looks so much clearer than what I had before. Now everything's pixelated. Maybe that's the design of the picture. But Burglar Bob is the F1 key. Uh, no idea if there's uh, any information on how to play this. Probably in the in the magazine I haven't read yet. Which I will take on vacation with me and I'll start reading so I can enjoy it while I'm on vacation. I can't read any of that too much other than Sam Revival. And then there's a 3D demo. Maybe I should do the 3D demo. F2, 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 F2. Uh, there it is. Oh! I can read. The text is clear. Again, as clear as my blind eyes can see. Short 3D demo. Here's a quick demo of some of my 3D code to go with Developer's Diary in Issue 22. Controls. Use the joystick to move around. I don't have a joystick connected. Uh-oh. Hold down the fire button to strafe. I don't have that. Press 1, 2, or 3 to change display 3D model. Oh, no. I don't have a joystick connected. I have a feeling. Press any key to run. If it's going to self-run or I'm, I'm just doomed. It's doing it on its own. It's doing it on its own. So I guess if I had a joystick, I could move this around. But you should be seeing pretty clean graphics, as clean as a pixelated older video is going to show in terms of the computer. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Now, I do remember to take the floppy out before I reset, because I'm going to try that Bob thing now. Let's go ahead and restart. At least I think I restart. Or is that the break? Did I just hit break? Oh no. I hit the wrong key. I thought that was reset. I could be wrong. Let's just turn it off. Let's play it safe. Let's go ahead and plug this back in. F9. Okay, we're going to do F1 this time. F1, F1, F1. There it is. Be curious to see what this looks like. I have no idea what Burglar Bob is. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, so much clearer than what I had before. Burglar Bob. Select controls. QAOP, yes, that's me, Mr. QAOP. One. Oh, this is a QAOP. Okay. Is there any sound in this game? Oh. Oh. Oh, I got a chalice thing. Fall down. Oh, Bob, Bob. Go, Bob. Bob, go, go. Oh, Bob. What's jump on this? Jump? Oh, jump. Oh, jump's Q. Oh, a, that worm was after me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got a sword. Oh, I can't jump up that high. Oh, there we go. I got it. Oh, I died. I'm collecting stuff. <laughs> this is, the game's kind of fun. Uh... I'm not hearing any sound, per se. I don't know if this game has sound. Oh, jump! Oh, God, jump! There we go. Chalice. I'm collecting. I'm jiving. Beaving and wobbing. Oh, there's something that keeps killing me right away. Jump! 
Oh, that, 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 that. look at that guy. He's just right there. It's like Super Mario. <laughs> so I don't know if this game, like I said, is supposed to have sound or what. But okay, then the game is just all of a sudden stopped. Oh, I'm back to the basic. It kicked me out back to the regular prompt. Interesting. So this video is about not sound, but video quality looks good. I'll play some other games and see if I get proper sound from it. I was getting a little bit of a um, sound for the floppy access, but no, no game sound. So I don't know if that game's supposed to have sound or what. So let me try some other floppies, see if I can find something that has sound. But meanwhile, easy to connect up, easy to use, very cool. So I don't know if these buttons up here, again, they do certain things. I'm not going to screw around with those. That's not what this video is about. I just wanted to get a quick video up that shows you the quality of the video and it looks so good and for the price and keeping folks in the SAM community making neat things it's worth the investment so thanks for watching I may come back here in a minute with another game if I find one that has sound <laughs> thanks for watching peace sound sound okay so I found something with sound I don't know it, it's, it's issue number 20 something Sam Revival minutes before the witching hour. So this floppy right off the bat has some sound, very cool. Now I know my Sam has sound. <laughs> it's been kind of mute for a little while. Very cool, let's just quickly do something. The witching hour, is that a game? Uh, let's do the F1, F1, F1. Oh, the phone's ringing. Let me see who it is. Un momento, I'll be back. Hello. Yeah, that, so that was my wife. So yeah, the fire, uh, my mother-in-law and wife called to say, do you know that there's a fire not too far away? So yeah, as the crow flies, it's not that far away. So I'm keeping an eye on it, still trying to keep busy. But after this video, I think I'll halt up and check the internets again and make sure they're not doing any evacuations over this way. Hopefully it doesn't spread that far. So anyway, um, yeah, so sound, video, the witching hour. This game is up and running. No idea how to play it. I hit return. I don't know if... Oh, there's people. Choose the witch or the wizard, Greta or Beardy. I'm going to go with A. I'm guessing it selected it. A. Oh, God. A, B, right? Oh, I hit B. It didn't... Oh, hopefully my A key's working. I better check and make sure to type A. I was hitting A. So there's something floating around. I don't know if this is QAOP. Oh, God. Oh, this, the arrow keys are going left and right. Hey, look at that little witch. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. But that's not the object of this video. Thanks for watching the video. Sound. Audio. Down good. Video. Looks great. Great product. Thanks for selling me one, Mr. Matt. Peace. Bizarre seeing a big tanker so low. Can like reach out and touch this thing. Just probably dropped some stuff as it went around and flying somewhat over our house now. for a number of hours. Wow, that's just right next to her. Sheesh.